Before video starts, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Today, God instructs us to refrain from crying in the night. No more sobbing at the wall of a temple that has been destroyed. There is no evidence that your temple is in ruins because you, in your own person, are the temple that I am filling. There will be no more need for the sacrifice of animals. The question, what must I do to get free and be delivered, will no longer be on your mind. I am the one who will save you. It is the Father who resides within you who is doing the process of liberating you and putting you in a place of liberty and promise. He is doing this by establishing you in your proper thinking. You are currently residing in the atmosphere of eternality that I have constructed for you. You are the source of my irreducible life. You are surrounded with an abundance of unending favor and blessings that cannot be accounted for. Make a conscious effort to avoid thinking thoughts that are restricting or exclusive. There is no exclusion for you. When I look at you with love, you are holy and blameless before me. It is no longer true that you are a slave to guilt and misery. This marks your graduation. You have been delivered from the domain of darkness and brought into the kingdom of light as a result of the work that the blood of the cross has done in you. It is now your turn to experience contentment. There is no longer any reason to be concerned. Is there a lack of provision? Aware of the fact that I am your provision. If I gave you my son Jesus 2000 years ago, how is it conceivable that I have not given you everything freely along with him? In the event that you possess the son within you, then you possess everything and there is no deficiency in your possession. Accept it and believe it to be true. If you speak forth my truth, the circumstance that is lying to you will disappear, and my promise will be fulfilled in your life today. You are being enlightened today by the spirit of understanding, according to what the Father has disclosed to you. I say to your eyes, be open today, and to your ears, hear the wisdom of the just. You have suffered with not knowing and not comprehending, but I say to you, please be open today. Wisdom is yours because you have asked for it, and it is yours. There is no longer any darkness in your comprehension. In this moment, I am illuminating the interior of you with the light of my truth. I will make sure that you are aware of everything that you need to know in order to escape the confined space. You will no longer be relegated to the role of inactive observer and observer waiting. It is no longer acceptable to have the hope that things will improve in some manner, shape, or form. Put on your shoes, get up, and move away from the spot where you are feeling hopeless and into a place where you are seeing new light. I have unlocked the doors of the prison house, and you must not allow yourselves to linger there. Your shackles have been detached. This day, freedom is yours to enjoy. You are now a part of the culture of the kingdom, which I have brought you from the culture of defeat. You are no longer at a distance from my life, which is something that happened. You are not an extraterrestrial being. As a child born in my throne, you are a homeborn child. You have the beating heart of a children of God within you. Ignore the falsehood. It is important to not give the opponent the opportunity to tell you who you are or what the future holds for you. Your days are written in my book, and I do not take pleasure in writing catastrophes. Step out of the incomprehensible scribble of sorrow and confusion and onto the pages of my book, which contains your name on it. Because of Christ, you are at liberty to ascend into the heavenly places where you are seated currently. It is finished. Learn more about your true destiny by entering the final product that you have enjoyed and seeing what it is. In today's message, the Father advises that it is time to disengage from the roller coaster experience. Throughout the course of my life, 
I have never planned for it to be an experience of bouncing from one crisis to another. It is not an eternal cycle of disappointment and futility that I have in mind for you. Rather, it is something else entirely. You should make a conscious decision to not let instability and upheaval define who you are. I fashioned you to make your yoke simple and your burden light. It is important to focus your expectations on the blessing rather than the challenges that are occurring all around you. Declare it with belief. Declare to yourself, both in your heart and out loud, that it doesn't get any easier than this, and what else could possibly go right. Confession to salvation is made from the heart, and your righteousness will emerge and be established as a result of this confession. My ultimate goal is to bring out the character of my Son in you. To bring about the realization that you have been with Jesus for a period of time. In order to witness the manifestation of the divine shining forth from within your life and building your testimony. You have not been given the responsibility of stumbling through life while carrying a harsh burden of desperation. The theology of despair is completely ignorant of life and life in its highest and most abundant form. Contrary to popular belief, the teachings of defeat that arise in the academy of the misinformed should not be accepted. Receive rather the complete inventory of all that the cross makes available to you. The pain that Jesus endured on the cross makes a significant amount of human misery needless. As you put your foot forward on this day with hope and joyous anticipation of my goodness, things can be different, darling, and they will be very different for you as you believe the good report and put your foot forward. Let go of the natural and take hold of who I am to you today, the Father says. Let go of the natural. Just know that I am with you before you ask questions like, what is going on, or, what does this mean, when you are under a lot of pressure and going through a difficult time. I will never abandon you in any way, and I am here with you at all times. I am your tranquility. It is I who provides for you. I am the very essence of you. When the day is over, you will be provided with what you need. You will be able to rest easy at the end of the day, secure in the knowing that I am capable of doing everything well. Whenever your intellect is defiant and your feelings are raging, all you need to do is look through the eyes of the spirit that I have bestowed upon you and ask, what else could possibly go right? A positive mental attitude is not a waste of time. It is the acknowledgement that I am existing prior to Abraham, and the result is certain. It is via this that I have determined that you are the heir to everything. I am the bearer of your inheritance. When it comes to getting what I have in store for you, you are not waiting to go to heaven. Heaven is your inheritance, but the time has come for you to receive it. This moment is the promise. We will no longer wait. As soon as you are prepared to stop waiting, the material that I have been holding in my hand is waiting for you to accept it. Today is the day to enter into your presently. This is the last thing I have to offer you. All of the things that I have to offer you are there right now. Find out and reveal everything in you that is preventing you from living in the here and now, and then crucify it with the unholy lusts and desires that are tainting the image that I have called you to bear. You are the child that I have. That is not something that should be a part of your life. You are to get the washing, but you are not to sin anymore. You are not going to be ruled by sin, rather, you are going to be ruled by the power of the blood that was poured over all that fights against you and tries to confine you. In this day and age, the Father declares, My substance is you. On the inside of you is where you will find my individual substance. You are familiar with me, despite the fact that you have not witnessed me in the natural state or known me in the natural state or after the natural mind. I have removed your focus from the material world and given you my eternal substance. 
I have also given you the ability to see beyond the material world. In what way does this imply? In other words, it indicates that I am establishing myself in you. When I am in you, I am constructing myself. Through you, I am working. I am working in you, and I am working out through you, in order to transform the things that need to change, and to set you free to do every good job. I am doing positive things in you, and it is a good thing. At the same time that I am striving to fulfill my will and to fulfill my pleasure, guess what? The result that I have guaranteed is one that you can rely on. You are going to find that there are occasions when you are unable to comprehend what is taking place. In spite of the fact that you will not comprehend, you will be aware, deep down, that I am currently engaged in my task. The adversary has been vanquished. The outcome is certain to occur. Avoid looking at the waves and the winds at all costs. Whatever the case may be, I will come to your rescue, however, dear, do not lose sight of me. If you keep your focus on me, the small amount of faith that is responsible for you taking the first step will eventually grow into the enormous faith that will establish you and propel you into larger things that your mind cannot even begin to imagine. When you go, you will be escorted out with serenity, and you will leave with delight. In spite of the fact that your natural intellect will not contain all of the answers, you should just put your hand in mine. You will follow my direction. The Father says, I am bringing you to deep waters and green pastures where every need will be met and every thirst within you will be quenched in the waters of who I am on the inside of you. I am bringing you to these places because I am bringing these things to you. This day, the Father says, I am providing you with aid that goes beyond what is natural. While you are in the midst of a conflict, the most important thing you can take away from it is that you cannot solve the problem on the same level as the problem. You are required to climb. You need to increase your height. Come up higher is the message that heaven has for you on this particular day. You must make the decision to think higher thoughts and let go of any attachment you have to earthly feelings in order to be able to fly with the wings of eagles that I have supplied for you. I have made arrangements for you to be in a location where you can also be, just as I am. In the same way that the sun is sat at the right hand of the Father, there is a place here beside me that is set aside specifically for you. This is a resource that is designed to make a difference in the battle that you are going through. Focus your gaze and your focus on the throne, and the throne will choose the next steps that you take in your life. On this particular day, I am requesting that you keep yourself away from any and all distractions. As I stated in my word, today, I go the Father away. tells you, you that must you can also put your free faith yourself in my from any and all ties that bind you to things that are of this planet. For you, this is the accepting of the cross as a sacrifice. There will be a shift in the circumstances if you are willing to accept the cross of obedience and discipleship that I have called you to. It has nothing to do with pain. I am not one to take pleasure in suffering. I take great pleasure in guiding my children through my divine process in order to liberate them from the concepts that are connected to the earth and to remove every chain that is preventing you from being where I am. Today, I invite you to enter into my I am-ness, says the Father. Engage in the life of the throne. I want you to realize what it is like to come to fullness of everything that I have given you today as your inheritance. Press in and break past the bounds of natural thinking and natural affections. The Father instructs us to not turn around and look back. It is better to gaze inward rather than to look back at the things that have happened in the past. In your role as Lot's wife, why would you choose to become a pillar of salt? She longed for the adventures that had occurred in the past. She yearned for the opulence that Sodom had to offer. 
It was necessary for the angels to physically drag Lot's family away from the towns of the plain because they were so engrossed in the culture of those cities that they were unable to see their way out. At this very moment, the angel is in charge of you and is guiding you to the location where you will be blessed. You are able to sense their presence in the room, right? They are here to guide you away from the things that are and into a more significant presence and blessing that I have been bestowing upon you. Despite the fact that you have requested that I intervene in the matter, you must realize that I have already made my way down into the experience of being on earth 2000 years ago. I am already in possession of that. It will be necessary for you to come up here to meet with me. I have finally called you to a throne experience after such a lengthy period of time. Let go, the Father instructs us. Put an end to any and all affections and obstacles that may encourage you to look backwards at the things that have happened in the past. The past is no longer relevant. It is not going to happen again. What I have in store for you in the future is significantly more worthwhile than anything you consider to be a loss. As you progress from corrupt to incorrupt, you are making progress. You are entering eternity and leaving the confines of time behind. You must not give in to the fear that the tendrils of time are trying to instill in you, as if time is running out. Do not be concerned if you find that your time is running out, I will simply create additional time for you. As a matter of fact, why don't you simply accept the reality that I have created you to be who you are and just live in the here and now? Due to the fact that I have time, you have time. To be more specific, I am holding it in the palm of my hand. It seems like your chronology will never end. You will accomplish what you set out to do and fulfill your destiny because I never lie. Free yourself from the past. Give yourself over to the season that I have led you to, which is the now. Rejoice in this. The air that you are breathing in and out today is the air that you are breathing out. In this day and age, the Father instructs us to look not to death but to me. The occurrence of death is the consequence of a measurement in time that is perpetually looking to that which will never be eliminated. When it comes to you, my life will never be taken away. You may not be aware of this, yet your body, which is intended for glory and forever, is already present within you. At some point in the future, you will be able to completely avoid death, and the only thing that will be visible to you will be the immortal. You are now possessing immortality. You were created to be the representation of my immortal substance, and you are the expression of that. Through the importation of who I am on the inside of you, I am putting a stop to the interference that is known as sin. The fullness can be seen here. It is not necessary for you to wait for your mortal existence to come to an end in order to experience a transition in your life and even in your body. Simply take a deep breath and be aware that my transcendence is there within you, flowing through you, reversing the curse and leaving life in its place. This is all that is required of you. Being in the earth, which is my temple in the skies, is the ultimate purpose that you have. You serve as my dwelling place. There is no other place I would rather be than inside of you. I would rather be anywhere else. The search for a transcendental realm, a planet in the distance, or a distant sphere is what religion is all about. I am currently inside of you. Do you have any other location that you need to be? Embrace the present moment. On the inside of you, Accept my nowness that is filling you with the fullness of everything that I am and everything that you are capable of experiencing in me. This was something that mystics realized centuries ago, and they did everything in their power to provide glimpses of my throne that was located within you. In response to your request for a shift and change in your experience, I would want to tell you that the first step is to develop a mindset that is focused on the kingdom. It is you who is my rule. 
You are the source of it, and it is flowing out of you to remedy every incorrect circumstance in your life. Accept it and recognize it as the most fundamental blessing that I have bestowed upon you. This is the point at which everything starts to transition and move in the direction of advantage and blessing in your life, rather than the other way around. In this day and age, the Father declares, I am doing for you what man cannot do for you. It is I who is bringing about what the banker is unable to do, as well as what the physician or the counselor is unable to do. In my presence, there is no deficiency but rather fullness. Existence in its whole, including all aspects of life. In the midst of all of man's temporary solutions, I am working to bring about the resolution of every need and issue that you are encountering. Acquaint yourself with my fullness, says the Father, and know, just know that I am working. The state of your finances and the medications you take are not the only factors that might have an impact on your life. In accordance with the frequency that reverberates from my throne, your life suddenly comes into existence and then disappears again. It is rain that falls on those who are just as well as those who are not just. You are not only invited to be the receiver of my grace, but you are also invited to come into intimacy with the creator of that grace. This is the invitation that I extend to you. I extend to you an offer to become one with me. It is the Father who instructs us to set aside the phantasm of the corporeal. I am the God who is not seen, and I have control over every facet of your life from the beginning of time. When you are connected to me, it implies that eternity is currently touching you and flowing through you from beginning to end. Limitations that are finite are a form of tyranny that instills terror. Please do not be afraid, my dear, since I am striving to bring about an awareness of the irreducible life that I have within you. Life, and life in greater abundance, is what this is. It is now open to you. The time has come to rule and reign. At this moment, you have complete provision. Be sure to relax your grip. Be conscious of the fact that you are drawing upon the bank of heaven rather than the restricted resources contained within the domain of earth. You are taking breaths at my limitlessness and exhaling breaths at the same time. I will not abandon your soul to the abyss of damnation. You will not be allowed to be consumed by corruption, I promise you that. Eternal life is consuming you and consuming you completely. Every single day, I am consuming you and filling you up with my presence. You are not in danger. This is safe for you. To experience the ecstasy that can only be found in the finality of my love for you on this day, take a moment to breathe. The Father has spoken to us today, saying, I have wrapped you in the folds of my grace right now. You are surrounded by my ability to strengthen you. You are surrounded by my spirit, which envelopes you in my holiness and virtue in order to work my nature and my character on the inside of you. The manifestation of fresh life and purity is taking place, while at the same time, every facet of your existence and personality that is in opposition to my love is fading. The fact that you have been with Jesus will be brought to their attention on account of the fact that I have ordained you to be with me. In order for you to be able to carry my image and reflect my nature, I have anointed you and made myself real on the inside of you. As you align and collaborate with me in this tremendous commitment to totally and completely be like me, my glory will be your part, darling, and you will not fall short in anything. In this day and age, you must come to terms with the fact that your natural man is waning and your spirit man is growing. The elderly guy should be brought to the work of the cross. By allowing the death of the cross to operate in your natural man, you will be able to bring the ascendancy of the new man to the surface. This is what the Father says, you are mine. A price is paid for you to be purchased. 
I have made the decision to permanently imprint my name on you. I bring you to the point where my character and my grace become the compelling force that molds who you are and what you do. I get you to that point. And this is the plan that I have devised for myself. According to the Father, everything else, everything else, is nothing more than details. In this day and age, the Father says, taste the power of my resurrection. I am bringing back to life those things that have since passed away and that appear to you to be lost beyond all hope of recovery. The same way that a root emerges from dry ground, you will experience a resurgence of blessings and fruitfulness. Where you looked and saw nothing but a decline and a sense of dissatisfaction, you will find delight in the morning. Your heart is crying out, and I hear it. When it comes to matters concerning your life, there is not a single prayer that you have offered up that the angel scribes have not meticulously recorded in the book of my promise. Negativity and pessimism are poisonous, yet you must resist them. Be sure to take a deep drink of my promises today, since the favor of heaven is shining down on you right at this moment. As Peter did when he was struggling through the waves of hardship, reach out to others. During the time that I was bringing him out to safety, the Father tells me that I am also acting in this manner in your situation. Earlier in the day, seek me out. Take the time to record in your heart my presence that is with you as the pressures of responsibility and the urgent necessities of your schedule begin to crush in on you. Make the affirmation that it is the Father who does the work within your own mind. At this point in your life, this is what it means to have a yoke that is easy and a weight that is light. While you are on your journey, I am increasing the size of your steps. In order to carry you through the day, I am sending the gentle breezes that are a part of my blessing. There are those with whom you will find favor, and you will find favor with them. You have made the decision to move on with anticipation rather than despondency, and as a result, you will get an unexpected blessing. Do not be discouraged, the Father adds. On this day, you do not need to be afraid of life since my spirit is with you, and that means that life and life in greater abundance are going with you. As you bring your heart and life into alignment with my promises, today is the day when everything starts to transform from bad to good. You do not need to be desperate, the Father tells you today. Although things may appear to be hopeless, I bring miracles on a daily basis. Be prepared for the unexpected. Be conscious of the fact that you are the recipient of the unexpected, the abnormal, the uncommon, the unusual, the unique, and the suddens. Have no fear. Only believe in it. Even if I were to curse the fig tree and cause it to dry up from the roots, I would still be able to put an end to the affliction and plague that the enemy has brought upon your life. Make contact with me. It is no longer necessary to have the impression that there is no hope that may be found. When it comes to upholding the commitment that I make through my word, I never lie. Those individuals who assert that my pledge is based on the experience of one individual but not necessarily yours are lacking in knowledge. Their religion has been tainted by the presence of sense knowledge and anecdotal experiences, which they have permitted to pollute the altar. It would be a waste of your time to attempt to persuade them with your arguments. Allow those who are blind to guide those who are blind. Only believe in it. Exceptional favor is bestowed upon you today, declares the Father. Planning for the worst-case scenario is not something that should be done. In the same way that you have witnessed the amazing in the past, you will witness the miraculous in the present. This may give the impression that the positive things in your life have disappeared, but in reality, this is a lie that the adversary is trying to spread about you. The obituary of your hopes may have been proclaimed by other people, but the words that they are pronouncing are not that of my mouth. Keep your eyes open. 
Remove yourself from the state of powerlessness and weakness that you have fallen into. Strive to maintain a firm faith. You will become the sinew and the substance of what you are believing me for, and that faith that I have given you will become those things. This is not a falsehood on my part. In no way am I a liar. Due to the fact that I am who I am and because of what I did for you 2000 years ago, I am able to guarantee that I will keep my word to you.